This is part two of our scorebug tutorial, how to create a scoreboard in vMix. And so we're going to bring in our previous scoreboard. So let's go open. We're going to bring in the template. You see at the bottom, it's got the home and the score and the away and the score and the quarter. And we have previously uh, made that so that those can be filled in. Um, more easily in vMix. What we want to do now is add a timeout button, or excuse me, timeout function in vMix. So let's start by adding some text. And we'll drive that down here so we can see a little better. And the text that we want to work with, I'm going to double click here and then double click again and, uh, and just delete that text. And what we want to use is dashes. That's the minus key, dash, dash, dash. And we'll use those as the, the timeouts. So if we have three, that means we have three timeouts. Two means two timeouts, and none means no timeouts. So let's put them back in there, just really as a, as a space holder more than anything else. And we also want to, let's make those um, yellow. We'll use this pale yellow right here. And let's give them a little bit of a boundary. So I think if we put a one in here, that'll give them a little bit of a boundary. And then um, let's increase their size to 90. I think that'll work well. Oops, let's make our little box here a little bigger. And then let's drag that down and see if that fits well right there. Oops, that's a little far right about there. And then I can actually position it more accurately here, as you remember from, let's go down about another pixel. So we'll go down to two. That looks pretty good right there. So 592 is gonna be our Y. And now we'll do the same thing. We'll add text. We'll just double click and then double click again, add in three dashes. We will make the dash color that pale yellow. We'll give it a little bit of a shadow, and we'll make the, the size 90. And then we'll just drag that down, try to get it in the approximate position. And then we want to make, what was this one? Let's come over here and click it. It was at 592, so let's make this one 592. That'll be the right height. And let's indent it just a tad. So instead of 337, let's go 340. Yeah, that looks about right. All right. Now, we also want to, to name this. So let's go back up into the name box right here. And we're going to name this away. Oops, let's spell it right. Away time out. All right. And then we better do the same thing with the other one so that we know what it is. And this is going to be home. home time out. And let's take that space out. There we go. All right. And now we've got this set. So let's save it. And, well, I guess let's, let's give it a new name. Let's call it... Uh, Bottom screen scorebook, there we go, that's what we want. And so we'll replace that one. So now we've got that set. So let's uh, let's get out of this and we'll show you how to use it, if we did it right. So let's pull up vMix. And it'll take just a second for the program to start. And let's make it so that we can see it a little better. Here we go. And let's add an input. And it's going to be a title. And we're going to browse for it. And in this case, we know that we put it in our Dropbox. So there it is, bottom screen score bug. And we'll click OK. And there it is. We'll move that to the side for just a second. There's our bottom screen score bug. And so home is our home team name. Home score should be zero. Away name. Away is, 
is zero, period is zero, home timeout will be three dashes, away timeout will be a dash, and then the image, of course, is, is, the, is the graphic. Okay, so that's what we want there. So let's add some shortcuts that allow us to control the timeout buttons. So we're going to go to Shortcuts, Edit, and it looks like we've already done that. Uh, period away home. Nope. Looks like all these are just for adding scores. So let's add. And we want to make, let's see, let's use the number 7 key on the, the uh, number pad. So we'll click Find, press the number 7 key, and it'll tell us we've got number pad number 7. So that's the key we'll use. The function is going to be a title function, set text. The input is going to be the bottom screen score bug. That's right. And the title is going to be the home timeout. And so since it comes up with three timeouts right off the bat, let's make this one two timeouts left. So we'll just simply put in two dashes. And we'll give it a title of home time. And we'll call this uh, just two. There we go. OK. So there it is, home time two, set text, bottom screen. Let's see if we, if we did it right. We'll press the seven key, and the timeout goes to two. How about that? Let's set up one more, and you can kind of get the hang of it. Let's make home team equals uh, timeouts equals none. So let's go to shortcuts, edit, add. And this time, we're going to use the, um, let's see, that was two. Let's use the nine key. That'll mean the eight key can be for, uh, for one timeout. So we'll go find. We'll hit the num nine number pad. There you go. And the function is going to be a title function, set text. We're going to use the input, which is the score bug. We're going to come down to the home team timeout. And the value is not going to be anything. I'm just going to put in a space there. And this is going to be home time zero. OK. So if we did it right again, we'll come back to uh, the nine key. And now we have no timeouts left. And if you want to restore it to three timeouts, you can either come over here to the uh, scoreboard input select Title Editor, come down to Home Timeout, and then just come back up here and put in three dashes, and that'll reset it. And now you're back to three dashes right there. But it's much easier to set it all up on the keyboard. In fact, let me show, let's, let's see. Let's go, we'll, take, we'll do nine, and that's going to take them all away. And let's set up a quick and dirty input Fine, and we're going to use the uh, the slash key off the keyboard, the divide sign. There you go, and the function is going to be title, set text, score bug, home team timeout. Value is going to be three dashes. One, two, three. This is kind of our reset. So it'll be home time three. So we would do this at the beginning. Of, I guess at the beginning of the second half, maybe. Okay. So if we press the Divide key, now all our timeouts are restored. We're down to one timeout. We press the 7. Suddenly, we've, we've miraculously used two timeouts. We're down to none, and it's halftime, so we're going to restore them. So that's how you do timeouts in vMix. Now, this is obviously, this is kind of quick and dirty. There may be a better way, but this is a good way, and it works. And working is always the best way to do it. I'm Tom Sinclair. Glad to bring you this tutorial. Hope it works for you. Thank you.